Hey guys, Jason with CV Customs. So today is carburetor day. Taking a little bit of a break from the, the super service build and we're just gonna do a quick video on this carburetor. I'm gonna show you how to switch the choke from a thermal choke to an electric choke. I'm just not a fan of the thermal choke. Some people are, it's their business. So what we're gonna do, I'm gonna zoom in here on the carburetor. This won't take long, so don't have to waste a lot of your time with this video but I'm gonna show you how we swap this out. Okay, it looks like we got a good shot of the carburetor here, so I'm just gonna walk you guys through this real quick. This is where the thermal port would come in for the exhaust to heat up the coil and open the choke. This is the electric. Just take 12, takes 12 volts when you turn the key to the on position. 12 volts, heats up, opens the choke. So what we're gonna do change this part right here it's just the three screws Okay, so with all the screws out, this should just pop out. If it doesn't, I guess I could grab my little knife that isn't where it's supposed to be. There we go. There we go. So you see that's all it is, the coil. The heat comes in through this orifice, heats up the coil, and opens the choke. That's it. So what we're gonna do is make it work on 12 volts. This port's not gonna matter anymore. We can leave it open, air will get in and out. It's no big deal little hook here that grabs our arm here so we want to make sure we get that set in there Let's see if I can get this where you guys can see it can you see it see it in there there's our hook there just gonna make sure that gets on there we go now this is the trick in locking it down open Get it to where it just closes. And then when it heats up, it's gonna open it up. And you can test it by, you take your power probe and apply 12 volts, heat it up, and you can watch it open just to make sure, but that's all you're looking for. So it's open just to the closed position, maybe just a hair of a turn so that there's a little bit of pressure keeping it closed and it's ready to go. So now, We'll throw our screws back on here. Oh. I guess I should point out a little curve to these clamps. Make sure the the curve is so that the two ends are pushing down on it. It's not really complicated. I mean, if you're doing a job like this, you can probably figure that out. You don't have to get these two overly tight. You want to remember that it is plastic. You don't want to crack it. And what we'll do now is I'll go grab, once I get this other one on, I'll go grab the power probe and we'll do a test so you can see how the electric choke actually functions. There we go. We'll get the probe out and we'll test it. Okay, so what I've done is I've given it ground right here and then given it power here and you can see the butterfly is opening uh, it might be hard to see but look it is closing and it's opening 
I was going to record the whole thing, but it actually takes a little bit when you have no heat coming from the engine, nothing else to help it heat up. But you can see it opening up as we stand here. I'll move it around so you can actually see the gap difference and everything. She's opening. So our choke works. It's going to function exactly the way we want it to. So, all right, guys, next video, we'll be back on getting super service out of here. Still got the 62 GMC to get done, which we have tons of video that we haven't got up yet. So we'll get that coming. And then we actually just picked up a 59 uh, Chevy step side pickup that uh, somebody started on. It's got a big block and twin turbos, a lot of stuff. I pretty much have to go through the whole thing, figure out what's going on with it and get it wrapped up. But a lot of videos coming. Hope you guys enjoyed the uh, carburetor modification video.